Related subject, moving on, um, the way that people use websites, I think, is misunderstood in the B2B community at large. Well, I was, I was about to say something. You said something earlier. You were saying um, it's not a landing page on our website that we're sending people to. It's a web page that we send PPC traffic to. And I was going to say, what is a website except a collection of sort of individual and loosely linked landing pages, which yeah. is, I think, where we're going to where we're going to come to here, isn't it? Which it is. is the, it yeah. is. Uh, effectively, we often say to people, like, with a, when you're putting a web page together, think, like, who's it for? How are they going to find it? What do you want them to do when they land on it? That kind of thing. And I think what a lot of businesses miss is this idea that people coming to their website might only land on might, sorry, might land on a page and might not look at any other pages. We've yeah. had in the last seven days some fantastic inquiries and those people that we're now having conversations with only looked at one page on our website and went, yep, yep. these guys, I need to speak to them. I think- and I think a lot of business to business uh, organizations do not get that. They yeah. they genuinely think that people are going to indulge them and yeah. read the home page, then the about page, and then read through the services and read through the case studies. Yeah. Some people might read some of that stuff, but by and large, people land on an A page, often not the home page, from a Google search and make a decision and either contact you or disappear. And that's the only time that you ever touch their lives. Oh, website. How deep I got there instantly. <laughs> <laughs> our website is packed with content. And at the bottom of all of our blog posts, for example, we recommend three related blog posts. The menu's really easy to use. Well, HubSpot does. We, we, <laughs> we have done everything that we can to try and keep people browsing around, to make sure that they're sort of fed with useful information and that we hold the engagement. It doesn't work. Well, I mean, it works better than it does for most people's websites. But the point is, on average, it's still 1.7 pages per visit, right? People in general do not want to sort of... How do you look at 0.7 of a page? Well, you ask Google statistics again, the the gift that just keeps on giving. What's the Disraeli quote? Lies, damn lies, and statistics, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, clearly nobody read 0.7 of a page. Um, but yeah, the point is, um, I can't remember what the point I was going to make is now. The point is, the point is, you can't really hold somebody's attention, and it is very indulgent. I mean, we work with clients sometimes who are like, "Yeah, I've, I've mapped out the whole process, like how people are going to navigate down the category tree, and they'll read this page and then this page." So we don't want to, we don't want to like sort of like put all the information about this product on this page because it's a product, and we want them to read the service stuff first and then get to the product. And it's yeah. it's like I, I feel bad for you, man, because you can't tell a story on the internet like that. Like mm. it has to be quick and it has to be self-contained. Mm. And this idea that, like you say, you've got this sort of like huge huge tapestry of information that people engage with is Mm -hmm. wrong. So the bottom line is if you are attracting people to your website with helpful content, what a term that is, but anyway, (laughs) helpful content that that you are hoping will get them to your website, Mm -hmm. then put in a call to action. We we had a really good uh, session, was it last week or the week before, Julie and I, and this website for this this organization has got loads of great content on it and you land on the content and there's nothing on there. They haven't got anything. Where do like, I go? What do you want them to do <laughs> yeah. next? And, you know, you might think that's fine because you're providing no. this content which is educating and helpful. And it's like, but you are also trying to run a business. So you're trying to say, like, if, you, if this was useful, do you want a conversation? Can we help you? Sort of thing. We, it's not pushy. It's not old school. It's just kind of, that's the whole point of inbound marketing. Well, it, well there's, there's two conflicting things going on, isn't there? Because on the one hand, you've got Google saying, give people helpful content. And give people useful information and they'll remember you and they'll love you and they'll come back time and time again and that's that's how to market or at least that's generally the sort of ethos that Google seemed to recommend be helpful and be authoritative and people will love you and then on the other hand you've got all the platforms like HubSpot that are constantly telling you that you have to stay top of mind here's an email marketing tool to help you stay top of mind make sure you post to social and it's like the, you, do you know what I mean you can't have it both ways the, the truth is people have a really short attention span and they will forget you almost instantly and that I think that is the, the reality of the situation you'll help them them. They'll think, oh, that was nice. That was useful. I, I don't remember. I was building a bookcase over the weekend and I went on a website and I looked up how to do a specific measurement and then I left and I couldn't tell you what that website was. You're listening to Digital Marketing from the Call Face with me, Dave Robinson, and um, who am I again? What's your, what's your name? Alex, I think. Alex. You, even you don't know. <laughs> Jesus, you must be dull. You it's even a, forget your own dull. name. It's the end of the day. I'm asleep. <laughs> um, okay. 
I think we've kind of done that one, done that quite well, you know, but so just kind of don't get obsessed with like thinking about how people are going to navigate through pages and pages mm-hmm. on your website. The chances are they're not. I mean, just go and look in your, in your stats. You've probably got GA4 installed or whatever. You'll see average visits, average pages per user. And you, you might be quite disappointed when you see how low that number is. Um, I'm trying to think some sites might be an exception to that, but of course they will. But, of course but, they will. But, but in general, large, yeah. it has to be a self-contained story. Really. Yeah.